what you're about to receive. May the Lord make you truly thankful. some more. What? Please, sir, I want some more. More? Catch him. Hold him. Hold him. Thanks. Thanks. Yes, you're quite right, Mrs. Corney. We must get rid of this canker in our mists. That boy was born to be hung. I've never been so shocked in all my days. Hush, Mr. Bumble. Sit down and have a nice cup of tea. <sighs> it's nice to be appreciated, Mrs. Corney. These here poppers in this parish don't appreciate me. Anti-parochial they are, ma'am. Anti-parochial. We have given away a matter of 20 loaves and a cheese and a half this blessed afternoon. And still, them poppers is not contented. Of course they're not. When would they be? Sweet, Mr. Bumble. <laughs> Oh, oh, yes, very sweet indeed, ma'am. Oh, oh, you little tinker, you! <laughs> oh, you have a cat, ma'am, and kittens too, I declare. Oh, yes, I'm very fond of them, and they're fond of their home too. Mrs. Corney, ma'am, I must say that any cat or kitten that could live a few and not be fond of its home must be an idiot, ma'am, and don't deserve to live in it. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bumble. It's no use disguising facts, ma'am, an idiot. I would drown it myself with pleasure. Well, then you're a cruel man, a very hard-hearted man and all. Hard-hearted, Mrs. Corney? Hard? Hard-hearted? Are you hard-hearted, Mrs. Corney? <laughs> what a very curious question coming from a single man. What can you want to know for? <laughs> Mr. Bumble, I shall scream! No, you wouldn't. Hey, ho! If I wanted something special, then you couldn't say no. Did I nearly catch you smiling? Yes, I did, and it's beguiling. If your hand is close, I'll press it. Yes, you like it, come confess it. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. See us or could hear us If I ask you can I kiss you Say what will my pretty miss do I shall scream, scream, scream If I p 
pinch you one pinch from your shy protector shell. Can I on it you one inch? Will my blithesome buxom beauty let her suitor do his duty? Though his lap ain't very large, dear. Sit upon it, there's no charge, dear. Will you sit? No, I shan't. Will you sit? Scream, scream, scream You're a naughty bad man If you think I can't be proper Prim and haughty, I can And you'll pardon if I mention You must state your true intention Is there not an avo room here? If there were a bride and groom here Would there be... shall see Mr. Sarbury, liberal terms, five pounds. Well, as a matter of fact, I was needing a boy. Good, then it's settled. Five pounds, please. If you don't mind. Cash upon liking, Mr. Bumble. Cash upon liking. Mr. Sarbury. What is it? Will you have the goodness to come here a moment, my dear? What do you want? Well, what is it? I was just telling Mr. Hello, Mr. Bumble. Hello, that Mrs. We... Sarbury. That we may consider taking this boy to help in the shop. Dear me, he's very small. Yes, he is rather small. There's no denying it, but he'll grow, Mr. Sabri. He'll grow. Ah, I dare say he will in all bills and all drink. These workhouse boys always cost more to keep than what they're worth. Still, you men think you know what's best. What are you going to do with him? Well, there's an expression of melancholy on his face, my dear, which is very interesting. He could make a delightful coffin follower. Oh, what? 
I don't mean a regular coffin follower to follow grown-ups, just for the children's practice, but very nice to have a follower in proportion, my sweet. Superb effect. The more I think about it. For once, just for once, you might have had a decent idea. Very well then, boy. What's your name? Oliver. Oliver Twist, ma'am. A singular name. Aye, ma'am. One of my own choosing. Yours, Mr. Bumble. Mine, Mrs. Sabre. How's that, Mr. Bumble? The boy's mother came to us in destitute, brings the child into the world, takes one look at him, and promptly dies without leaving so much as a foreign name and address. Dear, dear. Well, Oliver Twist, do you think you could look at that gentleman over there? Maybe. If we had a black hat. Never mind about black hats. The boy is quite right. Get the boy a top hat. These things must be done proper and correct. Stand there under the picture, boy. Henry, really, it takes you twice as long to do anything as anyone else. Yes, yes. Henry, for once you've had a good idea. Can you keep that expression for a long time, boy, with a crowd watching you? Yes, Mum, I think so. See him in a black silk suit Following behind the funeral procession With his features fixed in a suitable expression There'll be horses with all black plumes To escort us to the family tombs With mourners in all corners Who've been talked to in tune. In the coffin lined in satin, that's your funeral. That's your funeral. Large enough to wear your hat in, that's your funeral. That's your funeral. We're just here to glamorize you for that endless sleep. You, you might, might just as, as well look fetching when you're six feet deep. My funeral? Visualize the earth descending on your claw by claw. You, you can come, come back when you're buried underneath the soul. We will not reduce our prices, keep your vices usual. That's your funeral, no one else's funeral. That's your funeral. I don't think. This song is funny. That's your funeral. That's your funeral. Here's the boy, now where's the money? That's your funeral. That's your funeral. We don't hold the thoughts macabre, there's no need to frown. In the end, we'll either burn you up or nail you down. We love coughs and we Job. Junior coffee follower, have you eaten yet? No, ma'am. Charlotte! Charlotte! What? Bring up some of the coal beds we put out for the dog. Charlotte, love, this is a new boy. Give them to him. Have you done? Yes, ma'am. I'm glad to hear it. Well then, Oliver Twist, your bed's under the counter. I suppose you don't mind sleeping among coffins. Well, there's nowhere else for you to sleep.
Did you want the coffin, sir? No, but you'll be wanting one before very long if you start checking your superiors. I guess you don't know who I am, I suppose. No, I can't say as I do. I'm Mr. Noah Claypole. 